at Michael Landau again. Don't know much by Linda Ronstadt and Aaron Neville released 1989, their version at least. Um, let's jump in straight in. It's in standard tuning, key of E major. Um, the chords, again, we're gonna look at the chords first. Understanding the chords that's being played over is gonna help you understand uh, how the magic happens. Um, and it's a, it's a beautiful solo. Um, so we're gonna start off with an E major to an E on G sharp, so just an E in first inversion, to an A chord. Then he just hits the B right at the end to come back around. Something like this. Okay, second time round, he, it's a very short solo. So second time round, um, he's gonna do again, E to E on G sharp. Um, then you're gonna hit a C sharp minor, so a six chord in the key of E to a B on D sharp, and then uh, as they come into the, the vocal comes in again, um, well, I'll show you. Okay, so it's all in the key of E. Let's look at the solo and uh, what's happening over the first two chords, E to E on G sharp. Firstly, guitar tone-wise, I'm using quite a distorted sound. It, it sounds like a Les Paul to me, something really, uh, really thick, thick sound, um, woody sound. I don't have a Les Paul. So I am using this guy today, neck pickup, and I've rolled the tone off about halfway. Quite a distorted sound. I'm using a bit of delay. I'm not sure if there's that much on the recording, uh, but there you go. Okay, so the first part starts with two open E strings. Okay, sliding up two to four, so the F sharp to a G sharp. Then you're hitting two to four again, B to C sharp and twice on the octave E. Okay, so it's just a straight E major scale. Okay, uh, now we're gonna slide up four to six to uh, F sharp, G sharp, B. Again, all these notes are in the key, uh, sorry, the chord uh, E, which is E, G sharp, and B. So the B on C sharp up to E, again we're on the E chord. Now when he's about to go to the A chord, we're going to bend F sharp to G sharp and then hit the C sharp on the fourth fret to E and they're outlining the A chord, which is the reason why it works, okay? So let's do it from the beginning. Next part he moves up to around the 12th fret. So we're sliding 11 up to 13 and then hitting the 12 on the B string. Okay, and now he's gonna bend 14 up to 16. So the F sharp to G sharp, he can run an E chord. So he's outlining the notes that are in that E chord. hitting uh, the 14th, hammering on and pulling off and sliding from 12 to 11. Going down a D chord shape. Sliding the F sharp down to the G. Okay, hitting the C sharp because you've just gone to an A chord. Again, this, this isn't by accident. He's targeting these chord tones specifically. C sharp to E, uh, 11 to 9. Then he moves up to the 14th fret, hits 14, 19. Okay, that's probably the, what I find the hardest part is moving from here straight up to here on the high string. Um, but that's a solo, it's a really short guitar solo, all in the key of E. It's really outlining two chords, the E and the A. So primarily E, B and G sharp, which are the notes from E major, while he's on the E and the E on D sharp. When he goes to the A chord, he brings in that C sharp only on the A chord. And again, that's why it sounds so good. So 
uh, have a look at it, break it down, and again, pay attention to those chord tones. Michael Landau, guitar solo on uh, Don't Know Much. See you next time.